It's another month, and instead of looking forward to what could come soon, a mystery that is neither good nor bad, but could be any number of things, meaning we have a moral duty to work towards and assume the best outcome. Let's look into the past, dwell on it, and let it haunt us forever. Every month, I make a video looking forward, and then one looking back at that video, wondering how I could have been so naive. The games from last month's video ended up being a bit of a mixed bag, or perhaps a better phrase could be a mid-bag, because Octopath Traveler 2, Like a Dragon Ishin, and Deliver Us Mars all ended up being… fine. Nothing to write home about, but nothing worth getting upset about. In fact, for the right people, they're all worth playing. I'd recommend Deliver Us Mars. But did you even remember these games happened just a couple of weeks ago? There were also a couple of games that garnered some controversy last month, Hogwarts Legacy and Atomic Heart, with the latter supposedly being a propaganda piece funded by the Russian state that turned out to be a decent enough game, with surface level criticisms of Russian exceptionalism and cringe writing that could rival January's Forspoken and the former game being boycotted by less people than Twitter thought would be for funding transphobia that just turned out to be, you know, horrifyingly racist. It was definitely a weird time to be a games journalist. Also, trans rights. But as much as my British cynicism might make it seem that way, it wasn't all bad. A couple of games rose above the rest to be kings of the month. Kerbal Space Program 2 is glowing with promise as it enters into early access. PlayStation Studios Returnal is an excellent, if brutally tough, roguelike which echoes the arcadey fun of the developer's previous endeavours, and the sequel to my favourite survival game, Sons of the Forest, which I've been excited for since its original announcement, released into early access very recently. This game is all sorts of horrifying fun, and I can't wait to see what comes down the line. And perhaps there is happiness to be found in what has come before. If we learn from the mistakes of the past, if we look at what has gone well, we can create something better, something good. The past doesn't have to haunt us. It can be a companion, a teacher. So now as we look forward to the future to try and find what brings the most joy and happiness for all, you should watch my new video from last week on PC games to look forward to in March. Did I miss your favorite game from last month? tell me in the comments below, and be sure to like the video and subscribe to the PC Gamer channel.